Hi, I'm Mac, founder of the Millionaire Society and your personal mentor. The second step in becoming our partner is to select your domain name. The benefits to having your own unique domain name are endless, and the most important benefit is so that you can have an easy to remember name to tell those that you wish to invite. Now I cover this in the mentoring sessions, but I want to point a few things out right now. If you want to get paid for every person that you invite to join the society, the link that you would have to send people to so that you would get paid would be http colon slash slash id 756 dot m society dot hop dot clickbank dot net and the id 756 would be your clickbank account nickname now maybe i'm wrong but if you're working a full-time job somewhere and wanted to tell let's say your co-workers on lunch about the society that you joined called the millionaire society knowing that you would get paid at least forty dollars per month for every co-worker that you invited you probably would not want to tell them to go to that domain name However, on the other hand, if you had what I like to call a tier one domain name, it could be something like www.joinmillionairesociety.com, and it would be much easier to tell your coworkers at lunch to go to www.joinmillionairesociety.com, and it would be much easier for them to remember the domain name so that they can go take a look at it after work. But wait, it gets even better. You don't even need a hosting account or a website if you were just going to use that domain name to invite them to the Millionaire Society. You would simply leverage domain forwarding within your registrar account, which you'll see how to do in a moment. And again, this is just one example of why you need a domain name. Now let me go ahead and show you how to select and set up your domain name. To select a domain name, you need to have a domain name registrar where you can actually register your domain name. And the registrar that I like to personally use is GoDaddy because it's very easy and simple to set up and I've just used them for years. And to get to GoDaddy, you can go to GoDaddy.com or we even have a link inside the Society Rolodex under Domain Names. Now once you're at GoDaddy, you could literally just start by searching for a new domain. And keep in mind, GoDaddy always changes the front end of their site. So this website may look different or things might be moved around from the time that you're watching this video to the time you actually go to their site. So when searching for a new domain name, just as an example of how it works, you could type in something like millionairesociety.com and hit search and it's going to tell you it's taken. Well, it's taken because I own it. But you can go back and actually start searching for other domain names and this is where when choosing a domain name you want to have something that's very short very memorable it, that it's actually a dot com you don't want to get a dot net or a dot org or anything like that because dot coms is just naturally the domain that people are used to going to and you don't want to use hyphens or numbers so it sounds like a lot of work but it, it's really not you just want to very pretty much keep it simple so for searching for a new domain name, you could do something like join Millionaire Society and see if that's available. You could do something like Millionaire Society uh, Offer or no, knowing that, let's say if you're going to go around and tell your friends and family and coworkers about it, you want to make sure it's a, a domain name that's going to be easy for you to tell them. So you could even say, so let's say if your name's uh, John, you could do Millionaire Society John dot com and then go tell people that. Or you could do something like Private Millionaire Society dot com, and you could just keep putting these in uh, over and over and over to see if they're available. Or you could even do like the Millionaire Society dot com, and let's just see if that's available. And yeah, that's already taken. Also, I don't own that one, so somebody else must own that one. And that's all there is to actually searching for a domain. Now, it can obviously get very um, tedious to actually keep going back and forth to see if a, a domain's available. Well, there's even a simpler tool out there that I've discovered called Domize. This is what Domize looks like, and you can get to it by going to domize.com, or I even have a link uh, to Domize within the Rolodex inside the Millionaire Society as well. When you're at Domize, you could actually do something like join Millionaire Society and notice how it searched for it in real time. So where it says .com and if it's 
if it's in red, that means it's taken. If anything's in blue, it's available. So it's very easy to do some domain brainstorming here by, let's say, doing, let's say, Millionaire Society John, like I talked about. See, that's available, and I'm sure it's going to be taken after people in the society see this video. Uh, but it's just an idea as to what to do. Uh, you could do, again, Millionaire Society Offer, and that's available. But again, after this video, it's probably going to be taken. But it just gives you an idea as far as how easy it is to brainstorm. And if before you actually buy your domain at GoDaddy, I want you to be well aware that there are hundreds of coupon codes out on the internet that you can actually get your domain names for very, very cheap. So I like to use Bing. Bing's my default search engine because I'm just, you know, biased towards Google. I, I really don't don't like their search engine. But for Bing, let's say you could type in GoDaddy coupon codes and you can see the very you know first one is at a website called Fat Wallet, which is a, a very good website that always has coupon codes for GoDaddy. You could click on that very top listing and you'll see that there are going to be coupon codes and it's going to show you the most recent coupon codes. So all these coupon codes, there's like 10% off of your order, $5 off $30 or more, $7.49 for a .com, which is very cheap for a .com. So for instance, I would recommend that coupon code to get started when you're buying your .com for partnering with the Millionaire Society. So knowing that you know that could be a coupon code, we're just going to, I can't really highlight it, but I'll remember it. And you can just go back and again, you just want to start by putting in your domain that you want. I'll do Millionaire Society John as a sample. And once you hit search, it's going to, uh, GoDaddy is notorious for trying to cross promote and upsell you on all these other things. Uh, you always want to look for just continue to registration. Don't worry about all this other stuff. Uh, there's no need you need to buy all these other domain names. Uh, again, I just clicked continued registration. It's going to pop up. Oh, do you want this and this and this and this? You just say no thanks. And then it's going to take you to customize your domains. And this is where you actually want to um, put in, if you don't already have a GoDaddy account, this is where you would put in your information to create your domain registration. So you can put in all your information there, and then once you get down to that, you just hit next, and then it will just continue taking you through the setup. Um, I'm going to see if I can drop down here just to show you. For registration length, it's default to two years, but you want to back it up to one year. There's no reason you need to buy it for two years right away if you don't want to, especially if you're just doing kind of trial and error just to see how things are going, going to go. Then for certified domain, you just want to keep it un, uncertified. There's no reason to pay $5 a year to have it certified. And it's on with the next thing is the private domain, um, your privacy and your protection. You could pay extra to actually have your information not displayed anywhere on the internet. For example, if you, um, with phone books, like people pay, I don't know how much per year to have their, their number unlisted in the phone book. Uh, same thing with private registration. You could have it unlisted from the internet so your name isn't associated with that domain anywhere. It'll just help so people don't, their spammers out there can find who registers new domain names and just add your email address to a spam list and you'll get spam email for years to come. So it's up to you if you want to add it or not, or you could just put in a generic email address, create a free G email address at uh, Gmail or somewhere like that at Yahoo and um, use that for your domain registration. So that way you don't have to worry about spam. You don't have to pay $12 a year for it. And then uh, the last step here is activate your domain. And you can see they're going to say, hey, do you want more email addresses? Do you want web hosting? Do you want some SSL certifications? You don't need any of that. So just hit next and then you'll move on. All you want to get is just the domain itself. You don't need all this extra stuff. All you want to do is get the domain so that way once you have your domain in your account, you'll be able to set up domain forwarding. After you purchase your domain name, you want to log into your GoDaddy account, go to your domain manager, and click on the domain that you want to set up forwarding for. I skipped the domain manager part just because for my own privacy I have other domains there and I just wanted to get past it and come right here to show you the important part which is forwarding. 
Now, the reason you want to forward again is that let's say you own MillionaireSocietyTrain.com. Let's let's pretend that you bought this domain name just now, and you wanted to tell a friend that about the Millionaire Society so that if they if you invited them and they joined, you would get forty dollars a month for every month that they remained a member with you. So you would want to tell them to go to MillionaireSocietyTrain.com, take them to Millionaire Society, and you get credit. How you set that up is you move your mouse over forward here and you can forward your domain or where it says forwarding off down here on the bottom, you can click on manage and it'll take you to the same screen. Now if you're not using GoDaddy, if you're using some other domain registrar, it's going to be the same. You just want to go in and find where you can set up your forwarding. And then once you click on the domain forwarding within GoDaddy, it's going to take you to the screen to put in the URL you want to forward people to. So the way it will work is that when your friend would go to MillionaireSocietyTrain.com, it would actually forward them to the Millionaire Society through your ClickBank hop link so you would get paid $40 a month if they chose to sign up. So what is the link that you need to forward them to? This is what it looks like. It's going to be yourid.msociety.hop.clickbank.net. Now this is why we're suggesting getting a domain name and setting up forwarding because otherwise you would have to tell your friend to go to this domain name and so that if they joined when you invited them that you would get credit so where your idea is that's going to actually be your Clickbank nickname that we talked about in step one so once you have your Clickbank account and your Clickbank nickname you simply replace your ID let's say if your Clickbank nickname was John 234 this is what your link would look like that you need to set up forwarding on so we'll just go ahead and leave it like that and once you have put in your Clickbank nickname in the beginning here just leave this check marked if it if it's not already check marked check mark it to update DNS settings and then all you have to do is hit OK and then it's everything is done and usually within an hour or two the forwarding is all set up and that way you can then start going and telling friends telling family telling coworkers, and following all the other steps uh, within this partner training where you can invite people to the Millionaire Society through the domain name that you actually bought without hosting, without servers, without any of that. Here are your action steps for this Millionaire Society partner training. Action step one, brainstorm and discover your domain name. Now I recommend using domize.com to do this quickly and easily like you saw, and you want to use your imagination, have fun with it. And always remember, use short words, do not use any numbers or hyphens, and only register .com domains. Just keeping it simple is the best thing to do. And then action step two is to buy and then forward your domain name. And I personally use and recommend buying your domain name on GoDaddy. And then after you make the purchase, simply forward it to your ClickBank hoplink for the society. And your ClickBank hoplink again will be ID756, where ID756 is your ClickBank account nickname dot m society dot hop dot clickbank dot net just like you saw previously when I was setting up the forwarding welcome aboard I'm very excited to have you as my business partner and always remember that as a member of the millionaire society you will never have to go anywhere else to find the keys to your financial freedom